the collab you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Andy's in here, bro. What? Dude, Andy, man, it's been a long time, man. Actually, no, I, yeah. talked, I talked to you recently on Instagram, didn't I? Probably too. Yeah, you did. You reached out on Instagram. There we go. Dude, um, right. how's everything with you, bro? Um, you want to tell the stream what your, uh, what your job was? Oh, what I've been doing lately? Or? Oh, no, what you did in the Navy. Oh, that. right, right. So for those who don't know, I'm kind of an OG in the military vlogging community. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of hipster about it, but I was a, a sonar technician in the Navy. Uh, surface, not subs, but... Um, I was stationed on a frigate, and I was also stationed on a destroyer as well. So if any of y'all got questions about that, you can hit me up for that. Dude, yes. Let me plug your let me plug your YouTube channel, bro. So yeah, the Andy Sand here. He's actually in. He's a more OG YouTuber, Navy YouTuber than me, bro. I think you started. When was your first video that you made? My, well, my first Navy video was back in 2010 when I was talking about debt meetings. And didn't no know way. Shit. When you, Dude, it's the first NFAX video I ever did. Did you see anyone else before you that posted Navy videos? Or were there, you the... there, nah, there was uh, J-Rock85, I think, was the one I watched the most. Um, he's out in Texas. He got out of the Navy long-ass time ago. But his was some of the first... Um, there was a couple others, there was just kind of like one-off videos and they just kind of stopped, but I was the first one that I knew of that did them consistently. Dude. So you were the, you were the OG man, 2010. Cause my first video was 2011. So even before me, bro, Andy was yeah. out there. Yeah. Killing and grilling, baby. Dude, that's crazy. dude. Yeah. And that's just for my Navy stuff. Like I did stuff even before the Navy. Yeah, man. As far yeah. as the YouTube stuff. Yeah, you're killing it right now with like your editing, right? Is that what you're doing now? Full, are you doing that? Yeah, full man. Time? Actually, lately we've been uh, starting up a production company here in Ohio, doing some stuff for uh, for real estate. Doing pretty good with that. Really? So you're like, yeah. You're, uh, you said for real estate. Yeah, we're doing like videos and pictures and stuff for like houses and things like that. That's smart, dude. That's smart. So are you? Uh, reaching out to companies saying, "Hey, I can do this for you." Yada yada yada. Yeah. Or... Nice. Yeah. In fact, we uh, we're going to be having a meeting with one very soon. So can't get into details, but no, dude. Here, let me. I'm going to put your YouTube channel in the uh, in the chat. So, what is your uh, what's your YouTube channel name again? It's the that's e YouTube YouTube.com slash the Andy Son T H. Oh, uh, here I'll just. Well, I can't put in the link, but T H E A N D Y S A N. All right, the Andy Son, T H E A N D Y S A N. Dude, you guys should for real go subscribe to his channel, man. He's the first. Yeah. He's the first Navy. He's the first person to ever put a video up. <laughs> About the I'm the original. Yeah, man. Epic. There we go. Yeah, dude, we still got to do. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna do that Navy jobs thing. I was gonna do like a, a have a playlist. And talk about every single navy job yeah yeah that'd be dope dude because I, I hear there's a lot of people asking questions for uh like non uh air jobs you know like there's some guy in here talking about you know what's an fc do what's a gm do and like they were part of my department you know right so, so you part, were, of part of weapons department so you were a sonar tech right yes sir so what was like your what would like be a, a average day for a sonar tech? Well, in in port, there's not really usually a whole lot to do. Um, just you know, going around doing maintenance stuff like that. Uh, it's underway when we're like hella busy because you know, especially being out in Seventh Fleet, you know, you're constantly doing ASW exercises. Mm. You know, putting the array out and things like that, and you know, making sure China, North Korea, Russia, whoever. Is an act and a fool. So you're just in that. So you're in like your blue. You're in like a, a special room, right? It's like blue. It's like a blue view to it. <laughs> yeah, you always talk about the blue. The room. blue rooms, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, there, yeah. Man? You just yeah. Sit, so you're in there working for like what twelve hours every day? No, hours? well, back. I know this kind of makes it sound a little old. But back in my day, and I've yeah. heard they've changed to this recently because of all the incidents that have been happening out in Southern Fleet. So I was, for those who don't know, I was stationed out in Yokosuka. 
Japan from 2013 to 2015. So JT and I were kind of like two ships passing in the night. Like you got out yeah, in, dude. what, 2014? I got out in 2015. Yeah. You were out at uh, Atsugi. Uh, friggin Atsugi, yeah. Uh, one of my friends, she lived out that way too. So whenever I go visit her, we'd visit that uh, the exchange out there. Yeah. Pick up some some drinks and have a little chew high and chill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, bro, dude, the chew highs, man. Oh, oh my God. God. Killed it with those things. I yeah. miss them every day, man. Seriously. If you guys don't know what a chew high is, I mean, what, what would you say? It's literally like a, a, a monster. Like it's, it's like a monster, but with like, well, it, it doesn't have any caffeine in it. It's basically like a wine cooler, but it, it has a lot more alcohol in it. Right. It's like 12% alcohol. Content. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you get them at the bars. Like, you can get them canned. They, they go up as like high as 9%, I think. Yeah, you can literally go into any 7-Eleven. You can walk around the streets. You can drink them in the train. This is like 12 to 15% alcohol. It's like, dude. Oh, it doesn't even it, taste it'll, like. it'll get you there, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Dude, that's sketch. That is sketch. Oh, uh, man. Dude, well, cool, man. It's, it's, it's always great to catch up with you, bro. Yeah, for you know, sure. I'm going to have to, yeah, you know, anytime, uh, I might, I'm trying to set up a thing to where I'm going to be going over like the Navy, like the current Navy times, like articles or like current events, like with the Navy or like military. Okay. And, um, I've talked about it on the stream live and like have different like people come in and give their opinions. So definitely be on the lookout, bro. Cause I'd love to have you. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Sweet, dude. Well, um, cool, man. Um, it's always fun, bro. Andy, and I'll talk to you soon, man. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, for sure. Hey, before I go, is it okay if I plug the production company? Oh, yeah, dude. Do, do your thing. Awesome. So uh, we're just starting a new production company here in Ohio called Leading Line Productions. I'll type it in chat. You can what? look us up on online, just leadinglineproductions.com. I can't type the link because it won't let me type. Okay, the leading, the links, but... leading line productions. Got it. That's right. Yep. We have a couple videos up just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we can do. Um, we do like real estate videos. We can do event videos. You know, we do video business cards, things like that. So, you know. <laughs> Dude, that's fun, man. That's always fun. You know, kind of a new... Uh um a new venture absolutely i'm super stoked well bro we'll keep up the good work man and uh, i'll talk to you soon andy